one of the things that really annoys me, I saw it again overnight, is Johnny's all about Johnny Mercer and stuff. When you see the kind of personal sacrifice you have to put to go through this, I don't enjoy it. Like, there is nothing in this for me. Um, you know, I, I could go and have a, have a better life doing other stuff. I'm li literally just in it to serve. The reason that I don't leave, you know, very near, I'll be honest, I very nearly left in the summer after getting sacked, you know, and I was on the verge of flying out to America for interviews. The reason I don't leave is, because, is simply because of service. Um, and because I, I cannot see anybody else who is willing to smash the door down on these uh, issues around veterans, the military, Plymouth, young people, life chances, li like I do. And, you know, I get, I get fair criticism, I think, for the way I do it, because I am quite industrial about it, and I'm not worried about putting people's noses out of joint to fight for these people and to fight for veterans. But the one thing I don't accept is that it's, you know, Johnny's all about Johnny Mercer, because it's uh it's just so kind of warped right when yeah, when, when we feel this is what people don't realize is that he johnny didn't choose that mm. the the media choose their darlings you you don't stand up and say right i'm a new mp and i'm great and i you know they watch the maiden speeches they look at all the, the, the pond of, of new mps and they pick the ones oh this is an interesting person he's got an interesting backstory that fits his cause for being here we like that. Therefore, every time he says anything at all, we, we will print that. 